One of the great things about living in Polk County is the opportunity to see uh, so much growth around us. Uh, companies coming in, uh, settling in, and, and really, uh, really taking root in our community. And this is great for our economics. It's great for uh, uh, how people view Polk County even. And here to talk to us about uh, some of this growth and how it all happens is uh, the Central Florida Development Council. Uh, we have with us Greg Littleton, he is uh, the chair of the board of directors for the Central Florida Development Council. Hey Steve. We okay. have David Petter, he is the president and CEO of the Central Florida Development Council. And we also have Tracy Garcia, the project manager for the CFDC. Guys, thanks for uh, coming on today and, and thanks for uh, having us. Glad talking to, to us Steve. about some of the stuff that's going on in the county here. Yeah. Thank you. Well, first of all, um, Greg, tell us a little bit about how the CFDC works. What is the, the Development Council? Central Florida Development Council has been around for 25 years or so. And it's always been a public-private partnership, but up until now, the, the public side of things really carried most of the council. Uh, now the private side has pledged to really get more involved financially as well as with leadership. And uh, we've raised so far about $200,000 towards that goal in years past. I think we've done good to raise I mean, forty dollars or $50,000 in a given year. In some years, we didn't raise any money. But we've gone through a big transformation over the past couple of years. Uh, we had a 60-member board. We had uh, about a 20-member executive committee. And it really was uh, becoming a little bit too big and a little ineffective and a little right. inefficient. So for the past, uh, really, it, it's taken us about two years to get to this point. We've gone through a big transformation. We've brought our board of directors down to a committee of nine. Mm -hmm. Our executive committee is uh, made up of four individuals, and we've spent the last six or eight months uh, recruiting our new president, and that's David Petter. And you know that really was the. I think that was the thing that we were most concerned with, and making sure that we got it right. And I'm confident that right. we did. Now. Um uh, I, re I remember when the announcement was made that uh, that the CFDC was going to kind of change to this mm -hmm. um, public-private partnership type thing, um, and you know, two years seems like a long time, but that's a, that's a big change for an organization to go through. It is a big change, and it took a little longer than we thought that it would, but we were committed to getting it right, mm -hmm. and um, we had we had a study that was done and we had some outside help to give us some tips on how to get it right and it just took a lot of time but in right. the end it's something that we're really proud of. Uh, David, uh, being new to the organization but certainly not new to Polk County, yeah. um, tell me a little bit about uh, kind of what you've been able to see coming from the outside taking a look at, at how the organization operates. What's, what's kind of your vision and uh, what kind of direction do you see the Development Council going and, and growth in Polk County? That's a big question. Yeah, that is huge, I like huge, it, isn't I like it. it. <laughs> I mean, I think we have a lot ahead of us, a lot of opportunity, a lot of uh, chance to create an organization of integrity, of value, of creativity. Uh, the thing that really humbles me is just the strength of the partnerships in, in Polk County and the people who want to do good for our county. Uh, we have an opportunity to work with our local EDC partners to create real uh, real value. Now, what's, what's yeah. the EDC? The Economic Development Council, okay. so Lakeland EDC, Winter Haven EDC, Lake Wales has an EDC, Haines City has an EDC. Terrific. So we work in partnership with that local level EDC to uh, fuel their growth and bring prosperity to our to our county. So because really those those smaller entities are the ones that are driving, you know, they're they're kind of like the feet on the ground, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, we kind of set the tone and the vision. We help with. Uh, some of the marketing, some of the incentives work, uh, some of the brown, uh, brown, some some of the uh, grand vision, right. uh, but they're the ones who are executing really day to day on, on knowing their communities very intimately and selling their their brand as best they can. Right now, we have uh, we have a show here on on PGTV called Sports Central. It's with uh, tourism and uh, marketing, and uh, or sports marketing. And they, you know, are constantly talking about heads and beds and trying to bring, you know, outside people in as tourists. But with the Development Council, uh, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about how you kind of work to, I mean, how do you gauge what, what it is that you're doing? Yeah, at the end of the day, I think we want to bring new jobs to Polk County and new capital investment to our county. We'll see a lot of that growth will happen from within. 80% of our growth will happen from that existing business expanding versus a new business coming here. Uh, 
But at the end of the day, we want to create new jobs, create new capital investment, bring that outside money into Polk County, just as sports marketing does. They bring those tours here. I think about our role as building the hotel, and their role is to fill the hotel. Uh, and we can work in partnership that's to, a, that's a good, to do that. Good way to grasp yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, so we're telling the same story, the same um, uh, Polk County message, but we have a little bit of a different metric to gauge our success. Now, I would imagine uh, trying to come up with uh, ways, uh, kind of a, a strategic plan uh, involves a lot. That's probably where Tracy kind of comes into play is how you guys work together to, to come up with these plans on, on how to yeah. get businesses in. Well, actually, the plans are already in place. Uh, Polk County just recently, this past May, uh, passed the um, ad valorem tax incentive. So that's a, a big incentive for companies to come in and either ex ex uh, relocate here in Polk County or existing businesses to expand and they get certain tax incentives. There's also a number of different programs that we partner with, as we talked about partners that we have in Polk County, as far as training qualified labor force. Uh, we deal with um, uh, Polk State College as well as Polk Works to do the training and so what we do is we go out and meet with our business community find out what their needs are and then we can get them together with our partners that can help them with that need so we're it's sort of like okay. a, a matchmaking deal yeah. so to speak to where you know we find out what their needs are if, if they need you know to educate or train their their current labor force then we partner with um, Polk State or Polk Works and bring them in so they can train their existing labor force right. or if they are expanding and they need, need new labor force then they can do a, a quick training response for them to come in train new qualified people to come in and fill those positions. Yep. So it, it, it is uh, all about relationships, about knowing what the business community is in need of and knowing the programs and incentives and the partners that can help fulfill that need. So that's kind of where I get more involved with right. on, on the kind of boots on the ground coordinating these partners. You know, and it's kind of interesting that you said about, you know, um, that kind of coordination between mm -hmm. Uh, the folks that need jobs and the folks that are providing jobs. Right. Um, and, and I think a lot of times when we think of development, you know, when we think of, of growth, we think of people coming in, but it's not just, I mean, it's the people that are here too, and that's Absolutely. something that you're really focused on, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, and we'll see a lot of that growth happening from within mm -hmm. and trying to help companies remove barriers to that success, whether that's additional training or helping with permitting or uh, physically expanding their facility. Uh, we have a lot of tools, and Tracy, I have to say, she's been on the job for about two weeks, and I'm <laughs> quite impressed with that uh, response is really understanding what we offer. And, and it's really exciting about Polk County is that it's such a huge county. It's 2,000 yeah. <laughs> square miles, yeah. 600,000 people. And really, our, our point of difference and our benefit to an individual business is different depending on who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. So to that logistics distribution person, it's our central location between Orlando and Tampa along I-4. Right to that technology person, it's, uh, it's that the internet's running underneath Winter Haven and we can tap into the high-speed Lambda rail. Uh, for uh, the person that needs that high-skilled worker, it's Polk State College and the Polytechnic and Southeastern University and uh, Florida Southern. Mm -hmm. uh, for the tourism aspect, we've got sports, sports opportunities. We've got Legoland, Bach Tower, we've got uh, Fantasy of Flight. I mean, every little niche you look at, yeah. uh, there's a different appeal, so. Polk County really is a wealth of resources. It sure is. And just the geographic location between two growing metropolitans is going to really benefit us in yeah. the future. So it's it's exciting. Now, Greg, um, you've been at this for a while now. Uh, <laughs> what are some of the things that, that you've seen, um, you know, specifically in, in recent times? I know that we've had we've had rough economic times, but we start to see some of that come back around, maybe with the housing. What is it that you see as far as uh, economic development that is really encouraging? Well, I see people are beginning to have confidence in the economy, and I think that will bring us farther along than anything else, and that'll, and that'll touch every sector of our community. But existing businesses are making investment in their business. They're buying more inventory. They're expanding. They're buying new equipment. Mm -hmm. I think people who thought about opening opening or starting a new business they're having the confidence to do that and that really is what was missing over the past several years yeah. and if you think about um, historic low interest rates and how people could borrow such cheap money but they weren't doing it and I think that really right. spoke to a lack of confidence and I really think that as the economy gets better uh, that's being led by people's 
uh, ability to go out and do some things that maybe they hadn't done. They've right. sat on the sidelines. I think there's also a lot of pent-up demand that's being satisfied right now. Yeah, and, and like you said, uh, the incentives. I mean, I, I think about uh, there's a, an area in Lakeland uh, that their EDC has, you know, provided match dollars for restaurants to come in. Mm -hmm. So they have the, the opening funds to put in a, put in a kitchen or whatever. Um, those kinds of incentives are what really is, is kind of driving a smaller business to, mm -hmm. to really build up. That's right, but they still wouldn't do that even with the incentives if they didn't have the confidence that they That's would true. be successful. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You really find there was a study done by Area Development Magazine that ranked what those top 25 site selection factors were. And really, the highway accessibility and availability of a skilled workforce uh, are the top two. Incentives really fall down 10, 15, or 20. It's kind of that icing on the cake. Well, uh, the incentives are, are kind of a short-term, <clears throat> usually, are yeah. kind of a short-term mm -hmm. boost, right. whereas the, the things that you just stated are essential for long-term growth. Right, right. So really, there's a, we always try to find that one, one size fits all solution, that silver bullet solution, but there really isn't. There's so yeah. many different uh, tools and approaches and appeals we need to make to our existing business and recruiting efforts. How do you, how do you work with a business? I mean, how do, you, how do you get in and know what their needs are? I mean, do you meet with them individually, each business that you're working with? Yeah, I mean, we have to be present. We have to be out in the community. We have to uh, respond to phone calls. A lot of times it'll come in through our office, someone that's looking to expand or has a question about uh, how they can access capital or, or receive some training funds, or they have questions on, you know, how they can succeed. They're in a spot that maybe they want to leave Polk County and go to another part of the country, and they want to see what we can do to mm -hmm. keep them here or, or make them happy or successful. So it's either calls, us being present, uh, sometimes our economic development partners in the community will call us and say, you may want to reach out to, to this business and see what you can do. It's, uh, it's us spending less time in our office behind our computers and more yeah. out in the community and keeping our ears open. Absolutely. Yeah. What's the best way for uh, a business to, to get a hold of you? They, they, let's say they're struggling and they know that CFDC may be a great, you know, a great resource for them to kind of get out of the hole, you know, some, some great plans or ideas that you guys might have for them. Yeah. How do they get in touch with you? And I'll be as bold to tell you my personal cell phone number on TV. It's 863-956-7474. And they could also go to cfdc.org and go through the channels there. But we want to be accessible. We want to be available. Consider us uh, here to grow the county. So That's great. reach out to me personally or, or Tracy through the website mm -hmm. uh, and we'll, we'll assist. That's terrific. Yep. Now, David, uh, somebody who is starting a business it can be a really daunting task. You're yeah. trying to figure out, okay, what kind of stuff do I need to file? What, what kind of taxes yeah. do I need to owe? How do they find out some information about getting a business started in Polk County? Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that we offer that, that I'm excited about is that we help everyone from that big multinational corporation to the person who wants to maybe start a landscaping business. And for that person at that pre-emerging stage, there's the SBAC, the Small Business Assistance Center. And they're here in the Neil Comby building and they can come in, I think, a set an appointment eight to five any day with Dawn and she can help them with a business plan, with understanding how to form their company, with some grant money perhaps. Uh, but she's the one that works with them hand in hand to help uh, get them started. So that's what's kind of fun about us is that we get to see everyone from that small dry cleaner to the the multinational distribution company that sits on I-4, uh, and, and I'm happy to be able to cover that wide of a, of a spectrum of business. Excellent. Yep. Guys, thanks so much for coming on. You bet. Uh, I, the work you're doing right Thank now you. is, is, is really great, and of course, it's really, it's really showing. Thank you. Polk Thank County you. is growing. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, the Central Florida Development Council, a uh, terrific organization that is growing Polk County. And, uh, and of course the benefits are widespread. We, we as, as individual residents see the benefits of businesses growing around us. Uh, it's, a, it's a great time in Polk County. It's a great time to be part of, uh, of the growth that's here. If you're a small business and you're looking, or even a medium or large business, and you're looking for a great way to, uh, to grow your company, the CFDC has so many resources at the tips of their fingers. Uh, you need to get in touch with them, find out what they can do for you and uh, what you can do uh, with your company. This is a, a great chance for you.
simple enough. You can go to their website at cfdc.org um, or contact them at 863-551-4760.